So on the internet and more specifically social media, I think it's very easy to present yourself as something you're not and to present your life as something not at all based in reality. Maybe you're shy in real life, but you post memes on Twitter so you think you're funny. Maybe you pretend to be a crazy Eagles fan when you're actually just a creep. Or maybe you pretend to be an Instagram model living it up in Dubai when you're actually just taking pictures in a cardboard airplane. The point is that it's very easy to deceive the general public into thinking you were something you were not. And I feel like some of the people with the biggest chance of being exposed as frauds are these guys who go around the internet claiming to be alpha males when half of them just have such a strong distaste for women you would think that they were gay the way some of them speak it's like one of the rules of power i brought up the other day never appear too perfect because that's when people will start looking for your flaws and if you claim to be some type of badass alpha male always beating your chest with pride and getting all of these women when you were really just a nerd who couldn't get attention from women until you had money and or clout, people will see right through the shenanigans. This is where this guy who goes by the name of Heartbreak Nino comes into play. As last week, he got absolutely decimated by the internet after making some cringy TikToks regarding men and women in society today. What you are about to see is when being red-pilled goes way too far, creating a possible incel. Why is it that even beautiful women, bad bitches, are single today? It's simple. Feminism. Feminism taught you women that you a queen, you God's gift to this earth, you the prize. No the fuck you ain't. No you ain't. You ain't a queen. You ain't never gonna be my queen because you ain't my mother. You don't love me unconditionally. You love me under conditions. So obviously there is a lot to digest here. First off, everyone you come across in your life, including your own family, has some sort of conditional love for you. This is just a part of human nature and impossible to avoid in any relationship. Also, about 50% of American adults are single these days, and when comparing that number to 1950 when only 20% of American adults were single, I think we can see a growing trend that has more to do with the state of our society and how we interact from a social standpoint than just blaming this all on feminism. Back in the day, the American dream was painted as a family with a white picket fence, with the woman taking care of the household chores while the man works. And this dude seems to still be stuck in that era. And the problem is that I'm a man, I'm a leader, I'm the toxic asshole guy, the tool, right? Because when we go out, right, you expect me to take care of you, right? When we go out, I pay for it, you good. We go to the store, here, hey, here, get some shoes, you good, I got you. But when I tell you to do something, do it. That's the problem. Don't expect me to chase you and beg you and get on my knees, bro. I'm not submissive. I'm dominant. And then what happens is, I don't want to be with that. He's, he's toxic. He's bad. Your friends tell you he's a bad guy, right? Then you go be with the nice guy and you end up cheating on him or leaving him because he's weak. He don't make you feel nothing. He don't, he don't blow the back. That's the problem. You're the problem. You're delusional. I'm not submissive. I'm dominant. My god, the idea of this man calling anyone else delusional is insane. He has no room to be throwing rocks when he lives in a glass house. The man is living in his mother's basement with shower curtains on the window. Also, the idea that your partner in life should be some sort of slave to your commands all because you make more money than them, or buy them things, is a fucked up way to think about a relationship and this seems to be a recurrent theme in his tens of tiktoks that he's made all about how much he secretly dislikes women if i done did everybody on the block you should still love me because i'm a high value woman i'm a bad b oh i i bet so you want me to provide and take care of you all right can you at least you know cook and clean for me <laughs> You can cook and clean for yourself. Ain't you mean? Well, I mean, you want me to provide and take care of you because you're a man. It's your job. Ah, right, well, if you want me to lead and provide for you and take care of the family, can you at least do what I tell you to do? <laughs> Not your slave. You narcissist. You abusive man. This dude is out here making imaginary scenarios up in his head and getting all pissed off. It's such a small percentage of women out here with this mindset, and if you don't want to deal with a woman who wants you to do everything for her and get nothing in return, then find a different woman. There's tons of educated women out here working full-time jobs making a living. Personally, I don't think I would ever want to be with someone who doesn't have a fucking job, I'll tell you that. In this modern era, I think both people need to be bringing home 
home some sort of income into the household, and holding it over someone's head that you make more money than them is completely fucked up. In a healthy relationship, both people should cook, both people should clean, both people should do things for each other without being asked, and both people should be able to make decisions. When I get a house and I get married and all of that stuff, I'm sure there will be things that I do that my wife never does, and vice versa. Like yard work, that's all me. But hey, if she wants to get out there and go crazy with the weed whacker, be my guest. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna be coming in like, Oh, I cut the grass, now it's time for you to suck my dick and make me dinner. I mean, if she wants to do that, great. But forcing someone to do those things just because you did something for them is crazy. You're talking about the woman you're supposed to love here, not some random Instagram whore. This guy really just needs some sort of therapy. He obviously doesn't want a woman, he just wants a slave that he can control. Just a disclaimer, I'm a heterosexual male, but I know myself and I know my boys and I know how we run. And I know what would keep me, what me would want to keep a woman around long term. So if I was a woman in 2021 and moving forward, how I would keep a man with money, looks, or status is so simple. The first thing I would do is allow the man to lead. Say, for instance, he was like, yo, babe, I'm going to pick you up at five o'clock. We're going to go here at this time. Get ready. I would let him do that because that would show me that he has the right qualities I'm looking for long term. Provide, protect, and lead. The number two thing I would do is I'd be considerate. So if he's hungry or if his room's dirty or his house is dirty, I'd clean it and cook for him because that would show him that I'm a supportive woman, which is very important long term. So, Ron, I would make him wait to like the second or the third day. And when we do establish the fun, I would do it every day. And I would have him wrapped around my fingers. And I really don't understand how y'all having these problems. It is so easy. <laughs> And I just wanted to make this video because sadly I think a lot of young men out there today are becoming like this, and it's not a good look. These thoughts have no basis in reality. Life isn't about trying to be some dominant alpha male and trying to prove yourself to the general public. It's about having experiences with people you love and care about and trying to impact others' lives in a positive way. So in conclusion, all of this social hierarchy bullshit is for the birds. All you have to do is do you, be a good person, be self-aware, and try and find someone who is a good fit for your lifestyle. And that's really it guys, I feel like a lot of people are really trying to overcomplicate life at this point. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Heartbreak Nino here and all these other fake alpha males on TikTok and on YouTube and all these other social medias. As always, make sure you drop a like on today's video, share it with a friend, and go follow me on my social medias, that's at Jamari Speaks on both Twitter and Instagram. And as always, you know there's some of the crazy motherfuckers out here that need to get covered, so it's been your boy the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!